Welcome to the Minute of Strength. What we're going to do today is going to break down a couple of exercises from Firepower and give you a previous progression to the, to the DVD version and I'm going to give you a post progression or in some cases a more aggressive progression from the DVD version. All right, so here's what it looks like. First exercise that's in the DVD is a double row. And I've seen this over the years. I've seen people make a little bit of a mess of this. Here's what it looks like. So typically people would grab the two dumbbells, bar, uh, kettlebells and say, hey, double row, let's just row. The idea of this was to hold one static, work the other side, release the other side, hold the opposite side static. So it looks like this. Pull them both up. I release, pull, release, pull. So I come to a full stop on the bottom, full stop on the top, full stop, but I don't let my shoulder drop get pulled in that direction. I hold myself stable with my core. And the idea of that in firepower is when first responders, especially firefighters, have to hold that position in, for, in, in, for any length of time, whether they're pulling holes or loading equipment, or just have this, what we know to be an athletic position, while moving their arms, All right? So, once again, pull them both up, drop, pull, drop, pull, don't release the shoulder, drop, pull. So I've got this amazing amount of tension in my glutes, my hamstring, my back is completely neutral. I feel my abs quite a bit. To kick this up a notch, if, especially if you want to work on grip strength, we're going to use the new vintage dumbbells. Very difficult to hold on to if you have weak hands and weak grip strength, but we know that tying that grip strength into the core is absolutely magic for overall strength and stability throughout your body. So just by changing the grip, I increase the strength in my core with the same exercise. So it looks like this. I pull them both up, drop, pull, drop, pull, drop, and pull. Mix that up in your workouts. If you go with a thinner grip, you'll actually lose the grip strength. You go thicker, you'll increase it, and you'll get an amazing amount more effort, I mean more work and efficiency out of the kettlebell move that's in the DVD. Now let's say, and I get these questions all the time, you have difficulty holding both those bells up. And I understand that, especially if you're just getting into this type of training, or you, you're, your body's fatigued, or you just want to mix it up a little bit, you grab one bell and row it. Take the opposite hand away. I'll face you guys so you can see this. I take my opposite hand away, hold my body static, and row. So there's none of this twisting and pulling and letting the bell control me. I'm in complete control of this exercise. But to stabilize, I want to engage my body first. I'm going to engage my core, engage my posterior chain by rowing first while I'm supported. Take the hand away. Drive. Drive. In complete control. But I'm also working my opposite side even though there's no weight there. So it simulates holding that other bell up top while the other sides work. So that's an easier progression in some cases, or again, just to mix it up, you can add a little bit more weight if you use that progression. It's fantastic. Mix these up. So as long as we're getting that pulling motion with a static stance in some way, whether it be unilateral or doubles, you'll grab the benefit, right? Now I'm going to show you a Rubescone Wild drill that'll pull all this together for you. Check it out. Okay, so now let's show you the static squat to complement that first round we just showed you, the double row, alternating sides, and the different progressions. Moving the arms in a unilateral manner. You can do doubles if you like. I like to see that unilateral work to get some more efficiency through the core while you're holding yourself static. You can start with this exercise, integrate it into the round that way, or you can do it after the round. It's up to you. These, are, these exercises from Ropes Going Wild are right out of Blackjack 21. So if you just look at integrating Blackjack 21 rounds into Firepower, you've got an extremely comprehensive workout for conditioning and just overall strength that's compared to nothing else. Give this a shot. Email us with questions if you have any. Later.